Hi guys, it's Jigglelot from Jigglelot Gaming. How's everyone doing? Now I've got a different video today. It's basically a, you know, basically my my game that I've made. I'm um, just going to quickly show you it. Um, basically, I'm working off a tutorial that I found on Unity. Um, it's a simple game. Basically, you have a character. You have to get him out of the mansion and avoid all the enemies. And yeah, avoid enemies and uh, basically maneuver around the maze. And once you get out, that's it. That's the game done. So it's a quick one. Um, this is the reason why I've not been playing, uh, doing more game videos because I've been doing more of the programming stuff. And since we got all this time off, why not learn now? So yeah. So let's just get straight into the game. So basically, little menu screen here. It's very simple. We play the game. Chucks you straight in there. Right, this guy is our character. With a nice tail neck. <laughs> yep, so we got a gargoyle there. Ah, you get caught if you get near, near the gargoyle's range. So I've set it up so basically you touch him or go anywhere near him. Boom. Game over. Restart level. Let's see if we can get out of it. I messed it up again. Okay. So I'll do it a third time. Third time lucky. Nice little top hat. Looks a bit like Slash. With no hair. <laughs> One eye. Maybe it doesn't even look like Slash at all. Hell did I know. I don't know why I'm talking about it. A nice little collision so you can run into walls and stuff. So there's no uh, glitches so far. That's all uh, I've added some uh, bloom effects, uh, just some extra post -pro processing stuff, which really makes all the graphics pop out and you know the shadows. Oh shit. Oh no. Ghosts is uh, faster than the uh, character. <laughs> oh yeah, so. Uh, yeah, basically make your way through here, boom, you made it, and that's literally my little game, or a little demo. So the idea is I'm going to be adding to this, changing it completely, um, adding my own models in there, my own um, assets to bring the game, make it more unique, add different coding in there. So it's not the same code that I've been using. Maybe change it all a bit. So I don't want to do an asset flip. I really, I don't really like the idea of that. So I kind of want to make a unique picking up objects, uh, abilities maybe slowing enemy, enemies down, uh, switches, stuff like that. You know, make it really interesting. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, everyone, stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. This is Jigglelot from Jigglelot Gaming. I'm out of here.